here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 Rhino and the tigers that Stinky set free from the zoo are now living in the jungle that has grown up around Moomin House and have settled into the restful life of Moomin Valley. Hey, have you seen Moomin? No, we haven't seen him all evening. Hmm. I wonder where they got to. Meanwhile, Moomin and Snork Maiden, chased by the snake, are swimming as fast as they can out to sea. I can't swim another! Stop! You must! Hey! Hey, you there! Huh? Come on, Snork Maiden! Nearly there! Look, there's a couple of hippos. They're coming towards us. We better get them on board. That's funny. I haven't heard about any hippos reported missing from the zoo lately. Just a bit further, Snork Maiden! We made it. I didn't know hippos could climb so well. Oh, thank you so much. There was a huge snake chasing us. Yes, we saw. You were lucky we came along when we did. Thank you for your help. Whose ship is this? Ours. We're from the zoo. The zoo? Oh, you've got one of the crocodiles. Yes, and a lot of trouble he gave us as well. There's another one around here somewhere. We saw them. Yes, we know there is, but we haven't been able to find him yet. Oh, boy, I wish they'd come as quietly as you hippos did. Hippos? Hippos? Which zoo are you from? I bet they'd pay well to get you back. Now, look here. I'm a moomin, not a hippo. Are you saying that I look like a hippo? Well, perhaps they don't look exactly like hippos. No, but they're close enough, Captain. I'm sure they've escaped from a zoo somewhere, though. Yes, sirree. We haven't escaped from anywhere. Certainly not a zoo. We live in Moomin Valley. We're Moomins. It's all right, Snork Maiden. I'll not be taken for a hippo. Come on, let's run for it. Hey, wait. There's a nice cozy cage already for you. Hurry, Snork Maiden. After them! Stop them now! Don't let them get away! <gasps> Where are we going, Moomin? Into the sea! Quickly, man! Lower the lifeboat! They're not going to put us in any zoo. Why did you come back? I thought you were on the boat. Oh, no. Don't worry. I never eat anything when I'm out swimming. Are you sure? I'm sure. Now, where's this ship? Oh, they're catching up with us. They want to put us in a cage and take us to the zoo. Me, too, I expect. They're always trying to get me. They've got one of the crocodiles. Oh, did they? They were my friends. Right. Hang on to me, you two. I'm certainly not going back to any zoo. Never. Let's go. Oh, no! Now hold on tight. Come back, you horrible reptile. Come back. Moomin's been caught by a big snake. Yes, Mama Snork Maiden as well. Dear Stinky, that's not true, is it? 
I wish people would realize that I almost never lie. I'm sorry about them, but I thought I'd better tell you. Well, there aren't any snakes that big in Moomin Valley. There are tigers here, aren't there? Well, there's big snakes, too. You brought the snake here, didn't you? Papa, I'm not saying that I believe him, but I think we'd better look for them just to be on the safe side, don't you? Okay, don't believe me. I've told you so my conscience is clear. But where exactly did the snake attack them, Stinky? Down in the swamp, by the sea. Uh, let's go, Mama. I'll come with you. No, you'd better stay, little Mai, and tell Moomin where we've gone if he comes back. He'll only worry if there's no one here. And Stinky, you, you show us where to go. Okay. It's all right, Mama. We're here. Uh, oh, praise the Boomer. You're both uh, safe. Meet our new friend. What a very big friend. Please come in. As much of you as you like. Stinky just told us that you and Snork Maiden had been caught by a big snake, so we... Where are you going, Stinky? She did chase us at first, then we managed to get on a boat, but they wanted to put us in a cage, so we jumped back in the sea, met the snake again, then they tried to catch her too, so she helped us to get away, and now she's our friend. Well, who are they? Men from the zoo. They've come to recapture all the animals and take them away from the jungle and put them in cages again. Hmm, I certainly don't want to go back to the zoo. Papa, we've got to protect our friends. Yes, we have. I'm sure that the tigers and that nice rhino don't want to go back either. No, of course they don't. Ooh, they want to be free and living in our jungle. Why don't you go and explore it? I'm sure it'll be just like home. And if you see the zoo people, you can come back here, can't you? I'm sure you'll like it here, Mrs. Snake. Yes, I'm sure I will. Come on, I'll show you the jungle. <laughs> I'm so relieved that you're both all right and home. So are we, Mama, but there's something we haven't told you. Yes, they thought we were hippopotamuses. What? Who did? They need their eyes tested. The men from the zoo. They thought we had escaped from another zoo and were trying to catch us, and they nearly succeeded. Hmm, how rude. We're not at all like hippos, the cheek of it. So these men weren't only trying to capture our new friends, but you and Snork Maiden as well, and me and Papa, if they'd known about us. That's right, Mama. They're idiots. Hippopotamuses don't wear aprons or write memoirs. That's really made me angry. I bet they never faced the wrath of a Moomin Papa before. I want to see you wrap yourself round and choke somebody. I know. How about the tiger? He'd do. I'd rather not. We became friends in the zoo. Oh, I know. Choke Stinky. That'll be much better. Yes, mind you, he did let us out of the zoo. Well, you're a great disappointment to me. I let you out because I thought you'd attack the Moomins, but you have tea with them instead. You're pathetic, you know that? I'm sorry, but we were brought up in captivity and we never had to hunt for our food. All our meals are brought to us, you see. But you're tigers. What do you eat, then? Well, we love cat food. Cat food? Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's easy to chew, and it leaves our fur all sleek and shiny. We like the yellow tins with the black cat, don't we, honey? Yes, it's our favorite. You wouldn't happen to have any on you, would you? into the house first. Yeah. Hurry, Moomin. Okay, Papa. The zoo men have come to get you. Hurry, you'll be safe in the Moomin house. Quick as you can, Rhino, into the house. Go on. Now, Rhino, push. I'm hard. trying. Uh, 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 uh. Um, 
I don't think that's a good place to hide, Mrs. Snake. I'm afraid that doesn't look quite right, Tiger. I thought I might just look like a thick rug. I'll just lie here like a beautiful porcelain ornament. They'll never know we're here, darling. Well, they'd never expect to find a rhino under there. Just what I thought. Where are they? They can't just have vanished into thin air. Hmm. Look! Up there! In the chimney. So they're in there, are they? Papa! They've seen the snake. They're nearly here. Now, I want you to calm down and be quiet, everyone. We won't let them take you away. I promise you they'll have a fight on their hands if they try. Tea, please, Mama. Of course, dear. Hello. 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 Oh, hello. Having a picnic, are you? A lovely day for it. Not at all. We're all here from the zoo, sir. Oh, are you on some sort of expedition? Excuse me, but are you the owner of this house? Yes, indeed I am. I'm Moomin Popo. What, what can I do for you? Well, you could send out the animals hiding in your house. That'll do for a start. Animals? Oh, no. We're firm believers that they belong outside. Sir, you can't see from where you are, but I can assure you that there is a python sticking its head out of your chimney. A python? Yes, that's right. No, it isn't. It isn't? No, it's uh, my daughter. She happens to look like a python. <laughs> Not all the time, you understand. But... Right. Come on, man. We'll go and get the zoo's property. No, you will not enter my house. All right, well, you let the animals out and we won't have to. It's up to you, sir. There are no animals and you won't enter my house. Now, wait a minute. I do believe, yes, you're one of those hippos, aren't you? I am not. I'm Moomin Papa and I am the owner of this house. No, you're not. You're a hippopotamus. How dare you? A hippo who owns a house and is also running an illegal zoo. Break down the doors. Well, that is against the law. Oh, it is, is it? Well, there's a nice cage waiting for you as well, Moomin Papa Hippo. I warn you, if you touch that door, you, you, you'll regret it. Oh, yeah? Right, boys, let's go in. Charge! house. We want them back. I tried to reason with the hippo, but it was no good. I'll have you know that's willful destruction of property, my good man. It's not willful. We're from the zoo. We gotta get in somehow. Oh, have you? And can you be sure that there are zoo animals in there? You just take a look up there at the chimney. That's all I'm sure. Go on. See that python's head sticking out? That's odd. I can't see a python's head. But there was a python's head up there. I saw it. Ugh, I can't breathe. Uh, uh, uh. Now you listen to me, Zoo Man. Huh? Either you stop bothering my friends or I'll arrest you. Is that clear? Well, is it? Yes, sir, it is. But what about the zoo animals? You heard the inspector. Now go away. Did you see that? See what? The hippopotamus. What? The hippopotamus. He's the fellow who's been hiding all our zoo animals. We got a nice cage lined up for him as well, Inspector. Oh, so that's your plan, is it? Ha! Huh, they want to take them all? Moomin, Snork Maiden, Mama, and Papa? Hmm, a criminal conspiracy. Conspiracy? It would probably be called kidnapping. But you can't kidnap a hippo. That's a Moomin! 
It could be white slavery, though. I'm sure I could add incitement to riot to the list. Now, I hate paperwork, so I'll tell you what. If you're gone within 10 minutes, I won't arrest you. Why don't you put them in the deepest dungeon, Inspector? The one with all the rats and spiders and scorpions that'll teach them to put moons in cages. That's a good idea, little Mai. They like animals. I'll start counting now. One, two, three... Get around, men, quickly. We'll have to think quickly on this one, men. Come on, now. Does anybody have any smart ideas? Come on. We're running out of time. One minute. Look, guys, we've got to figure something out right, right now. Right here. One minute, 30 seconds. Two minutes. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Look, leave us alone, will you? We're conferring. All right. Six minutes and 50 seconds. Time's up. You're cheating. The police don't cheat, and now you've got... Nine minutes and 30 seconds. How about that? Nine minutes, 55 seconds. I give up. Everybody beat it. But we're still discussing it. No, we're not. We're getting out. Look, everyone, the zoom in are running off. Great. You've got to come and see this, Mama. Nine minutes and 59 and a half seconds. And don't come back or it'll be the dungeon for you. And I make that 10 minutes up to... Up you to... saved us, little Mai. It was really clever of you to fetch the inspector. Well, there were too many of them for me to fight. Okay, everyone, come on now. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. And so everyone was saved. And eventually they all came out of the house to go and have fun in the jungle again. As long as the warm weather lasted, there were plenty of things to do, but one day the weather changed and cold winds blew down Moomin Valley. Ah, oh, it feels like autumn has arrived. The jungle won't like the cold weather. Do you think it will die, Mama? I'm afraid it will, little Mai. It grew very quickly, so perhaps it will go the same way. And it did. The whole jungle withered and died in just one night. I think I've got a cold coming, Mama. I'm sorry, I can't get the house any hotter. I miss the zoo. At least it was warm there. Yes, this cold is awful. It would warm them up if we burnt the dead jungle. Now they're happy again. But for how long? Well, that's the end of the jungle, you guys. It's cold again. It was warm in our cages. But you're free here. Yes, free to have pneumonia. I'm sorry, but I can't see my husband spending the winter here. And so all the animals decided to return to the zoo. Perhaps they'll let you come back next summer, Mrs. Snake. I like that, when it's warmer. Mm. Hey, look, the animals are on their way back. Oh, hooray! hooray. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, it's good to see you. You don't know how much we've missed you. Oh, good. Gosh. Welcome back, Rhino, old fella. It's good to see you. Come on now, get back to your cages quickly. We've been keeping them nice and warm for you. Go on, off you go now. You look all right, but I'm sure you must all be starving. We'll do you a special meal tonight, all right? Ah, the hippos, too. For the last time, we're moomins, not hippos. Well, you must be cold as well. We'll warm up a cage for you. It'll be nice and cozy there. No, no, we just came to send the animals off. Hey, get a cage ready for the hippos, will you? Nice and warm. Oh, no. At the risk of sounding repetitive, we are moomins. Don't be ridiculous. You'll <laughs> love it here. Oh. Oh, but we're nothing like hippos. We know you're not purebreds, but the public will never be able to tell. Do we have to stay here forever, Papa? Of course not, Moomin. Don't worry, I'll think of something. You will, won't you? Have you got any ideas? 
Well, not yet, but uh, I am a writer, you know. <laughs> don't cry, Snort Maiden. I'm sure there won't be only hay to eat. I don't mind as long as we're together, but what if they put us in separate cages? Oh! Oh, that would be awful. They wouldn't do that. Well, perhaps the inspector will come looking for us. When he realizes that we've gone as well as the animals, he'll bring the full power of the law to bear on them. Oh, look, there's someone coming. It's Snuffkin. And Hemulon. And little Mai. Snuffkin. Hi, Moomin. Don't worry, we'll have you guys out in just a minute. Please come out. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to let you out. I'm in charge of this zoo. I'm afraid it was quite an understandable mistake, but please accept this token of apology from the Board of Trustees. Here you are, madam. Mr. Hemulin and I went to the Royal Academy of Science just to sort all this out. We've been given a letter from the President stating that you are not hippos. Mr. Hemulin's scientific background helped persuade him. So, you can all come home now. Well, it just goes to show you must never judge by appearances alone. Mama? Yes, Papa? Do you, do you think I should grow a beard? No, Papa. And so autumn came to Moomin Valley. A new season with different weather and different pleasures.